Hello, and welcome to a special leprechaun-loaded edition of Silly Songs and Stories for St. Patrick's Day. I've got my green hat, I've got my rainbow necklace, I've got my leprechaun rainbow shirt, I've got my pot of gold and my rainbow. I think we're all ready to read some leprechaun stories. Let's get started. The Night Before St. Patrick's Day by Natasha Wing illustrated by Amy Woomer, part of the Night Before series by Natasha Wing. They are amazing books. Look at all these leprechauns on this cover. Can you count them all? How many leprechauns do you see? And another St. Patrick's Day thing, shamrocks or clovers, sometimes four leaf clovers, which are even luckier than a three leaf clover because they are rare or not as seen as often. Okay, I hope you had a chance to count them all. We're about to turn the page. Here we go. Oh, how many on this one? Look quick. Okay, the night before St. Patrick's Day. Twas the night before St. Patrick's Day. The day to wear green. March 17, the day to wear green. See how many leprechauns you can count on every page. Not a creature was stirring except Tim and Maureen. They decked out the den from ceiling to floor with streamers and rainbows and shamrocks galore. Oh, so much fun. Later, they carefully made traps with gold charms and rings. I bet we catch a leprechaun. They love shiny things. For if they caught one, so the legend told, they'd find where he'd buried his big pot of gold. <gasps> Such industrious children. Look, they have plans and ideas all sketched out and ready and prepared. And they're collecting their materials. That's a good idea when you have a goal in mind. They set all the traps round the room with great care, in hopes a wee Irishman soon would be theirs. <gasps> so many traps! And they work in different ways. Which is your favorite? Which do you think will work best? Coins or pennies? Necklaces or shamrocks? Rainbows? What will pull the leprechaun in first. And how will they catch it? How do you think each of these traps works? Try and figure it out or create your own traps. The children then nestled all snug in their beds while visions of gold coins danced in their heads. And doggy treats. Happy St. Patty's! said Dad early the next morning. Then he started to play bagpipes without warning. He huffed and he puffed an old Irish song. Mom dished out green eggs and sang loudly along. Tora, Lora, Lora, Tora, Lora, Lee, Tora, Lora, Lora. When from their bedroom there arose such a clatter the kids ran down the hallway to see what was the matter. And what to their wandering eyes should appear? <gasps> but a terrible mess! A leprechaun was here! <gasps> Is that how your room looks? Do you have a leprechaun infestation? <gasps> have leprechauns been busy making messes in your drawers, playing with your toys, and covering your floors? Ah, oh, tricky, tricky wee leprechauns! Maybe you definitely need to make some traps to catch those leprechauns so you can keep your room sparkly clean. Be quiet, whispered Maureen. He's hiding somewhere. When we find him, remember, we must hold his stare. For if you look away, if you so much as blink, leprechauns vanish quick as a wink. The kids trailed muddy footprints back and forth across the floor, which led them under Tim's bed 
and past the closet door. And then, inside a trap, they heard someone giggling. <laughs> a real, live leprechaun. They both saw him wriggling. <laughs> his eyes, how they twinkled. His body, so tiny. His hands clasped a trinket, so golden and shiny. He was dressed all in green from his head to his toes, and he looked like a cobbler wearing fairy-sized clothes. The children approached him, staring straight in his eyes. Tell us where the gold is. Don't be tricky. No lies. <laughs> I buried it under a rock, smooth and hard. It's next marked with an X right in your backyard. Oh, he has to tell the truth. She stared him down in his eyes. But they're tricky, tricky, tricky. Should she trust him? But when the kids went outside with their shovel and pick, they instantly saw it had been a big trick. <gasps> Look at all those rocks with X's. He had told the truth, but he's a tricky, tricky wee elf. And moms and dads don't like holes in their yards. What are Tim and Maureen going to do? Ha ha! I fooled ya! It's time to disappear. Happy St. Patty's Day to you. Better luck next year. Happy St. Patrick's Day. The end. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's definitely one of my favorites read it every year for St. Patty's Day. And I hope it might have given you guys some ideas on how to make some traps and have some fun this year. Finding ways to catch those leprechauns that keep messing up your room. Or maybe they're messing up your brother's or sister's room. Hmm. You leave out trinkets and treasures and I'm sure a leprechaun will find its way in to get them. We don't want our treasures disappearing, so we should keep them cleaned up and neat and tidy. Otherwise, a leprechaun might come around for something shiny. Okay, since we're celebrating St. Patrick's Day and it's full of fun and treasures, we're going to read two more books, just like the petals on a clover. One, two, three clover petals. We are going to have three stories today because we're full of treasures and fun. So let's get started with our next one. 10 leprechauns. That's a lot of leprechauns to count. I hope you were able to count all the leprechauns in our previous book. This one's gonna be a little easier to count those leprechauns because we're gonna do it in the story. Here we go. 10 Lucky Leprechauns by Katherine Helling and Deborah Hembrook. Illustrated by Jay Johnson, published by Scholastic. A Cartwheel Books imprint of Scholastic. The woods are full of leprechauns and treasures to uncover. Fiddledy fizz, there's magic there is when leprechauns find each other. One leprechaun hears a noisy wee elf who's playing a squawky kazoo. Fiddledy fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number two. Oh, leprechauns love music. They always have a song in their heart. That's why they're always smiling, unless they lose their treasure. Two leprechauns find a busy wee elf who's painting an orange spotted tree. Fiddledy fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number three. And leprechauns are creative, tricky wee elves. Look how pretty that orange spotted tree is, but it definitely stands out. Hmm. Three leprechauns spy a nimble wee elf who romps on the green forest floor. Fiddledy fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number four. Oh, she is nimble. Look at her dance and prance. Maybe she hears the kazoo music. For leprechaun see a silly wee elf who splats in a big belly flop dive. Fiddledy fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number five. Oh, he looks happy. 
and what a wonderful way to cool down on a hot day a cup of lemonade for his belly. Five leprechauns watch a jolly wee elf who's practicing juggling tricks. fiddle dee fizz tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number six. <gasps> Uh-oh. Our kazoo playing leprechaun looks a little concerned. His kazoo's being juggled up high. But he looks very talented, though he should have asked his friend first to take his kazoo and juggle it. Oh, leprechauns are tricky, but they do love a good show. Six leprechauns spot a speedy wee elf who zooms by engines a revin. Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number seven. <gasps> leprechauns must be very quick and sneaky and sly, nimble and crafty and full of fun. Seven leprechauns glimpse a lively wee elf who's balancing on an old gate. Fiddle tea fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number eight. Oh, look at that coordination and balance. I bet that really helps him out. But we should always be safe when we play. He should have a friend nearby to help him just in case. A spotter. Eight leprechauns view a frisky wee elf who's zipping through trees on a vine. fiddle dee fizz tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number nine. Oh, such fun and quick. Quick, quick wee elf flying through the trees. All dressed in green. It's kind of like camouflage. It keeps him unseen. Nine leprechauns meet a clever wee elf who's hunting for treasure and then... Fiddle dee fizz, tis magic it is. It's leprechaun number 10. Oh, that is one of their favorite things, to hunt for treasure. And they also love counting, just like this book. 10 leprechauns find a big pot of gold at, a pla at the place where the bright rainbow ends. But fiddle dee fizz, the true magic is finding 10 lucky leprechaun friends. That is always the best gift we can get or give our time and love and friendship. Woohoo! The end. I hope you enjoyed that story too. My favorite part was the kazoo, so I think we should learn how to make one. What you'll need is a toilet paper tube without the toilet paper just the middle, a piece of tissue paper or wax paper. It just needs to be a piece of very thin sheet. You can cut it down that small. That is kind of tough and rough. You hear that jiggly vibration? Because that's what we need, is we need it to vibrate or to resonate the sounds. So tissue paper like you get from a gift bag or um, sometimes in boxes with other things that are wrapped up, like shoes and things like that, or a piece of wax paper will do. And the last thing you need is a rubber band. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of tissue paper and our toilet paper tube, and we are going to cover one end nice and tight with the tissue paper. See, I pushed it over the top and I made sure there's no crinklies nice and smooth and I smush down the sides nice and easy so that it's all shaped around. You might have to set it down and push down. And then I'm going to take my rubber band and I'm going to wrap it around until it's nice and tight on there because we need this to vibrate the sounds that we focus into it with the tube. A kazoo is a special kind of instrument. It's called a merleton and it makes sound by sympathetic vibration with our voices. That is the next crucial important part, is our voice. You hum or talk or whatever noise you make through this focus tube, it's focusing it at this piece of paper called a resonator. And it will amplify, this will amplify and project the sound onto the resonator 
and then it makes a cool resonating sound of vibration. And we can make music with it. <laughs> or the Tura song from our last book. <laughs> the difference? I hope you have lots of fun making your own kazoo. And next, we're going to read one more story. One more. Or one more. One more story. One more. Woohoo! Lucky St. Patrick's Day stories. And it's about a leprechaun named Liam. And he has a special skill. Maybe you have the same skill. Let's find out. Out. Liam the Leprechaun Loves to Fart by Humor Heals Us. Here he is with his special magic and under a rainbow by a tree. But it's a good thing Liam stays outside. That's what I have to say. Leprechauns are like small elves. They always dress in green. They're mischievous that means tricky and magical and rarely ever seen. They have a hidden pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. But if you try to follow them, you won't have any luck. No. Liam is a leprechaun with a very special skill. He does amazing magic farts. The smell could almost kill. His farts are loud and powerful and also very smelly. So be careful not to get too close or your knees will turn to jelly. Oh, Liam's friend is not very happy, nor is that bird, about his special gift. If people try to force him to lead them to his gold, a magic fart he'll soon let rip. Then they won't be so bold. They'll grab their nose and hold their breath and quickly run away. All attempts to find his gold will need to wait for another day. Woohoo! Look how effective he is. That means he has a skill that really helps to work and keep his treasure safe. If your goal is to keep your treasure from being found and you're the only one that can lead people to it, it's a good way to keep them from trying to be around you. His farts can shoot him up in the air, and with one mighty blow, Liam will fly across the sky, holding on to a beautiful rainbow. Leprechauns are sneaky. They visit homes at night. In their constant search for gold, if you wait, they'll flee in fright. But... Liam Leprechaun does not sneak very well. Although he tries his best, people wake up when he farts. So finding gold's a test. One day, some evil ogres found Liam's pot of gold. They planned to steal it and be rich, but that plan did not unfold. For Liam Leprechaun was prepared. He faced them with his rear and let off stinky magic farts that made the ogres flee in tears. Oh, so stinky their eyes watered like an onion. Now Liam guards all the pots of gold because of his brave axe. With his powerful secret weapon, he fends off all attacks. Oh, everybody trusts him with their gold with, because he can take care of business. Watch those eager ogres run away. And ogres are pretty stinky themselves, so Liam has got some powerful smell there. Liam now gets a percentage, or a small part. Well, it's most likely a small part. A percentage is just a portion. Of all the gold they find, because he's the keeper of the pots and has to stay behind. He found a lucky four-leaf clover and jumped around in glee 
but a sudden fart blew one leaf off, and now there's only three. So it's not as lucky anymore. It's just a normal clover. Poor Liam. He's just too excited for his own good. Sometimes that happens to us, too. Sometimes I get super excited, and then sometimes those things spill. Or things get knocked over. <sighs> it's better to keep things chill. Leprechauns like all things green, in their food and drink. But no matter what poor Liam eats, his magic farts still stink. Leprechauns are pranksters. They're always playing tricks. Liam sneaks up unannounced and farts loudly just for kicks. Oh, not a good way to make friends. Even in the swimming pool, when there's no sign of trouble, Liam does a silent fart and makes a big wave bubble. Oh, everybody's getting out of the pool. One day they held a meeting all the leaders of the leprechaun nation, Liam released such a huge fart, it caused mass evacuation. Everybody had to run and leave. Oh, don't stay in there. Now, Liam wears a letter F on his pants wherever he goes. It's a warning to that he's a farter, so everybody knows. So if you see a leprechaun with an F upon his pants, it doesn't mean his name is Fred, and don't let him near your plants. Uh-oh, those farts could probably wilt some leaves, some flowers. Because if he farts, your plants will wilt, and they'll probably die. Or else he'll take off like a flash across the rainbow sky. Liam the farting leprechaun is sure a sight to see but he's much better seen than smelled. And that's a tip from me. The end. There's Liam on his rainbow, flying through the air, powered by his farts. Well, that was definitely a silly story. I hope you enjoyed all of our stories today about leprechauns. And since we're supposed to do silly songs and stories, we should probably end with a song. And I thought we would sing one about rainbows. I thought we'd sing my favorite rainbow song from the children's songbook. I like to look for rainbows. Here we go. Sing along if you know it. I like to look for rainbows whenever there is rain. And ponder on the beauty of an earth made clean again. I want my life to be as clean as earth right after rain. I want to be the best I can and live with God again. And I hope that when you see a rainbow, you think about all the beauty and all the wonder of the skies and all the love that our Heavenly Father has for us. And maybe think about a leprechaun and possibly think about trying to find the end of that rainbow and all the dreams and promises that might be there and treasure at the end. And that's all we have time for today. We went a little long with all those stories, but I hope you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day and keep looking for treasure, whether it's with friends or family or just the beauty all around us. There's treasure to be had everywhere. Bye. We'll see you next time. <laughs>